Ladies and gentlemen, I want to start by congratulating Comrade Tandavan to God Matanga on his elevation from the rank of Acting Commissioner General to Substantive Commissioner General of the Zimbabwe Public Police. This confirmation comes as a double celebration as we are also gathered to witness the birth of a brand new modern special criminal investigations department headquarters and forensic science laboratory. And while we say congratulations to the Zimbabwe Public Police for the double fortune bestowed on it, we are equally conscious of the great expectations of society for the newly appointed Commissioner General to hit the ground running like myself. <laughs> By providing much needed investigative and forensic science laboratory services to our nation. Recently, the Zimbabwe Republic Police has found itself in a world of public criticism for a number of issues, may be quite rightly so, since a lot is expected from our men and women in police uniform, who sought to uphold the laws of this great country. What are the mistakes they make in the process of performing their duty should not be buried underground or glossed over, but be laid bare for public scrutiny. Lest we forget, the police profession is a noble calling that requires both personal and professional integrity, moral rectitude, the caution of a chameleon, the agility and the reflexes of a Formula One racing driver, and above all, the sobriety of a judge at all times. This must be understood against the background that policing exposes those in the profession to different challenges, which keep mutating with time and location. However, among the vast majority of those policies are law-abiding citizens who have no wish to harm anyone. On the other hand, are the ruthless and the criminally minded people who have no regard for decency or rules. As if such challenges are not enough, there are also the unnatured and disciplined and the corrupt police officers who may not even be bothered to behave according to set rules. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, these challenges are real and valid and should be made with a high sense of restraint and responsibility. Admittedly, the challenges we face on a daily basis as a nation are phenomenal but not insurmountable. They should never be allowed to weigh our confidence but must be confronted with the determination and resoluteness of the biblical David when he met the giants and supposedly forbid the life. As a nation, we expect you, the Zimbabwe Republic, peace, to be imbued with the wisdom of the biblical King Solomon so that you are able to discern good from evil. Hence, as you fight against all forms of crime, and as you patrol the bread, the length of our great country, whether by day or night, we surely look upon you to be exemplary in your conduct, even under circumstances that may be far from being ideal. As I pointed out in my inauguration speech, 
The time has now come to proclaim a professional way of conducting ourselves and doing business in Zimbabwe. In this respect, I'm pleased to note that despite the discord that has been gathered in the Zimbabwe Republic Police, the organization now appears to be slowly but surely putting itself under the glass. Hence today, we gotta testify the positive spirit of dedication and commitment that sees the coming in fruition of a project that has been outstanding for many years. The construction of the CID headquarters, the first sense of I'm told, began in 1999, and the project was expected to be completed in 2001. But this was not to be because of resource limitations and advice. The completion of this massive and magnificent structure, which has nine floors, will no doubt see the CID and forensic scientists move from the very antiquated and the modular structures. Most importantly, the forensic science laboratory will enhance evidence gathering, processing, and analysis. This will reduce the time and effort police often devote to searching for witnesses of crimes as a lead to identify a suspect. But regarding the Minister of Home Affairs, this is deliverable within 100 days. <laughs> this laboratory brings in the vital silent witness that is so critical to identifying suspects and linking them to the crime. As government, we are now hopeful that ZRP is, to set, is set to increase its crime detection rate, which should lead to a significant breakthrough in the administration of justice. Mr. Commissioner General, we have so many unsolved cases in Zimbabwe. In relation to my personal history, I had six break-ins and nothing was concluded. So I will make sure I finance this project to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> While there are competing demands for financial resources in an environment of adverse and harsh economic conditions, my government remains fully alert to the other, to the ever protecting policing environment, resulting mainly from the globalized village, among other factors. Commissioner General, on behalf of the government and people of Zimbabwe, and indeed on my own behalf, I wish to assure you of our commitment to adequately equip the forensic science laboratory with the modern energy capable of collecting, handling, and processing digital evidence, and also detecting illegal enterprises on the darknet, and in identifying and locating the digital trade of cyber criminals. But the duty is yours to identify the state of art machinery. Allow me to reiterate that we are going to have free, fair, and equitable elections. As the country's law enforcement agency, we therefore expect you to play a pivotal role by contributing to the building of a conducive atmosphere that negates such a desired outcome through efficient and effective policy. Government will thus do everything in its power to ensure that you are ready to adequately police the forthcoming plebiscite. To this end, I implore you to deal diligently and decisively with all forms of political violence. <laughs> political players should not be allowed to flout the laws of this country. 
we, we owe it to play by the rules so that our citizens exercise their constitutional right to vote freely. Let me also take this opportunity to appeal to all political players and citizens to cooperate with the police as they exercise their constitutional mandate. The public should not provoke the police into breaking the laws they are supposed to enforce. And in equal measure, the police should not provoke the public into breaking the law. Professionalism, unity, oneness, love, peace and harmony should bind us together as one nation. Let us solidly rally behind what is good. Our national ideals, aspirations and fundamentals for a peaceful, investor-friendly and prosperous Zimbabwe. Once again, thank you Zimbabwe Public Police for heeding my call. This is how things should be. Continue working on the other outstanding projects so that we improve on our service delivery. May God bless Zimbabwe. I thank you.